Are you frustrated with dating? Have you been single for a while because you've gone on these dates and it seemed like people were interested in you and then they just bounce? Maybe you've got this dating app issue where it seems like whoever you meet has so many options and then they just randomly ghost you. I've been there with you, you know, it's hard. And I'm really glad you've stopped by my channel because I'm going to show you a solution to help you find that love that you not only want, but that kind of love where the other person actually treats you the way you deserve to be treated. I'm David Medawar and thanks for stopping by my channel. Let's talk about a big issue with how we're going about finding love. A big problem with this is we're approaching it feeling like we lack something. See, it's double-edged. We have a basic human need for connection with others. But if we're approaching that from a place of, I need someone, then we're setting ourselves up for failure. And I can't really fault you for taking that approach. I've been there too. Love is not an easy thing. So if you're finding hardship in looking to meet somebody and it seems like dating just isn't going your own way, this is an opportunity where we can look at the big picture. And that might be that we feel like our life is not complete. When we come in thinking that nobody likes us or the minute somebody shows us attention, we can't let them go because we're not used to it, then what's happening is that we're going to attract the wrong partners in our life. See, we tend to get back what we put out there. So if we feel like we're lacking something, you're going to attract that same kind of partner back. Really understanding what your soul needs is a big first step that you gotta take when it comes to self-awareness. I want you to write down in a journal some of the previous partners you've dated, talk about how they treated you well, things you liked about them, and then also look at things you didn't like. The next thing you can do is then re-examine that list and see if you find something in common. The next thing you wanna do is then ask yourself, okay, if I were to write down some of my basic needs, what do I feel like I'm missing in my life? And this is something that's good to do with some music. You can meditate, you can play some ocean sounds in the background. I like pretending I'm at the beach. I'm kind of weird like that. Um, but Pacific Beach is one of my places in the States. And so what I like to do is when I'm trying to just sit back and unwind and reconnect with myself, I'll close the door, I'll be alone in my house, and I'll just play some soothing ocean sounds in the background, close my eyes, you know, breathe in deep, and start really reflecting on what makes me happy. The next thing you wanna do is start looking at how can you meet your own needs? When it comes to physical connection, I mean, you can only do so much. I mean, you can't really have a baby on your own. If you can, then kudos to you because you just became a major science anomaly, but you get my drift, right? There are some needs that we actually can meet on our own. For example, if you feel lonely, if you miss going out on dates, you can actually take yourself out on some fun dates. It might be scary. I mean, it's not gonna be necessarily easy. You might be worried about, oh, if I go to dinner by myself, what if people look at me? Okay, that's all right. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Once you start stepping back and enjoying your me time, you're gonna to want to then realize, okay, you know what? I'm actually liking this life that I'm living. And it would be awesome to meet somebody but I also wanna make sure that I'm not losing who I am. And that's why that self-awareness is key because a big mistake we can make in relationships is we go and meet somebody and over time we're giving up our hobbies, we're giving up our friends. They have become our purpose in life. So that self-awareness being a earlier crucial step is so good because you can then find what makes you happy, things you like in life, that way, when you meet somebody, they're now a complement to your life. They're an addition. And then finally, what you want to look at is when you're going on these dates, it's time to now have some healthy boundaries. Instead of going into these dates saying, oh, gee, I wonder if they like me. <laughs> you're going to start asking yourself, do I like them? This life that I love living, if they were to enter it, are they going to distract me from it? And that's a very powerful shift because now you're in a position of choice instead of a position of lack. Oh, and before I forget, by the way, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to grow this channel and really appreciate your guys' support, thank you. So the next time you go on these dates, I want you to start asking that question, do I like this person? And I want you to imagine one thing. Imagine that you can't be physical with them. If you can't be physical with that person, do you think you could still enjoy being around them? Because if you can, that's a good sign. Because friendship is gonna really be a healthy foundation at the heart of a relationship. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you later. Peace.